Does your phone have AI in it? Well, if you've bought one in the last year or so, chances are it boasts of some AI features. Maybe it has an AI selfie camera, AI scene detection, or even AI charging. Yes, that exists. AI as a marketing term has been overused AF, you know, for a while. And why? Because you couldn't really quantitatively measure it. So let's try to change that now. Hey guys, Ash here from C4E Tech and let's get started. If you do end up liking this video, please don't forget to turn on notifications by hitting that bell icon. So before we start, does AI matter to you? Leave a simple yes or no in the comments below. Now what we have here in front of us is a new benchmarking tool by Antutu called AI22. It is not available in public yet, but we managed to get hold of a beta version of it and decided to test it. Our contenders for the day will include the Kirin 980 toting View 20. We choose this because this new chip from Huawei is supposed to have dual NPUs for faster than ever neural networking capabilities. We also choose the Qualcomm Snapdragon 845 which comes with the Hexagon 845 DSP. Why? Because the Hexagon 685 is one of the best when it comes to vector computations which is the basis for solving most problems related to machine learning. We tried out two phones sporting the 845, the OnePlus 60 and the Pixel 3 XL because we were curious if the added visual core would give it an advantage when it came to image recognition. We also have the Exynos 9810 toting Note 9 in the fray. Okay, so phone choices explained, on to benchmarking then. Well, not quite. There are a couple of caveats in here that we need to point out right at the beginning. First off, the app is still in beta, so it may crash on certain devices. Second, there is no standardized AI scoring procedure out there, and AI22 is the first one. There are two scores that AI22 generates. There is one for image classification and another for object detection. Now, if these terms don't make sense to you, don't worry about it too much. But if you want to know more, I'll leave some links in the description. Coming back, there is one other very important thing to keep in mind when judging these scores. And to do themselves claim that these scores are kinda inaccurate and there are reasons as to why it is that way. I'll explain them as in when we look at the scores. Now let's start off with the Galaxy Note 9. The Exynos 9810 on the Note 9 doesn't have any dedicated hardware for processing AI and all the tasks are done through the CPU which makes it the lowest scorer in a testing. It's also to be noted that the Note 9 we tested the benchmark on was running one UI based on Android Pie. This does make a difference in scores as Google has also been working on improving AI performance with each new iteration of Android. Now when you take a closer look at these scores, you notice that in closed brackets we have the mention of TF Lite. Just keep that in mind as we move on to the next phone on our list, the Honor View 20. The View 20 with its dedicated NPU fares much better here with the image classification scores but as you can see there isn't a huge gap between the Note 9 and the View 20 in the object detection scores. Now this is because the image classification test on the Honor View 20 leverages the dedicated NPU but on the other hand for object detection it uses the CPU. This is why high AI is mentioned near the image classification score and TF Lite is mentioned near the object detection score. High AI is Huawei's SDK for their dedicated NPU. If a score has TF Lite mentioned near it, it generally means that the manufacturer doesn't have a dedicated AI SDK. In which case, AI22 will default to running the benchmark through TF Lite, which leverages the CPU, which is what happened with the Note 9. Now let's bring in the Snapdragon 845 with the OnePlus 60. The 60 beats both the Note 9 as well as the View 20, but this is largely due to the fact that both tests are processed through the hexagon DSP that's built into the 845 which is why the scores have SNPE men mentioned next to them. SNPE is Qualcomm's SDK for the hexagon DSP. Now does this mean that the Snapdragon 845 is the winner here? Well, not really. Neural networks, which AI is based on, are hard to quantify. There are certain workloads that the Kirin 980 with its dedicated NPU will be better at compared to the Snapdragon 845 with its hexagon DSP. And the benchmarks here cannot give us the full picture. Another thing worth noting is that we tried the same test on our Pixel 3 XL. The device ran through the first test and crashed every time at the end. So yes, this app is in a very beta stage of development right now. So why run this benchmark in the first place then? Well, it is to give you guys an idea of how all this stuff works and just try to get an understanding of AI performance on our phones. For example, we also tested two Snapdragon 660 phones, the Mi A2 and the Realme 2 Pro. 
the white s2 660s well the 660 on the realme 2 pro is supposed to have an ai engine built into it so we wanted to test it out to see if this made any difference the answer is yes there is a huge difference see the scores for yourself it is to be noted that the Mi A2 is running Android 9 Pi, while the Realme 2 Pro is actually on Oreo. Even with the operating system advantage, the scores here differ quite a bit. AI Tattoo gives us a standard metric to judge AI performance. All this while, we've been relying on claims from brands. Now, we can judge them for ourselves. So what do you guys think of this new AI benchmarking tool? Let me know in the comments down below. And now it is time I bid you adieu. Please share this video with friends and family if you can. Check out our monthly giveaway if you haven't yet. Thumbs up, thumbs down based on what you felt about this video. Subscribe, turn on notifications, hit that bell icon. Don't miss out on any of our daily content. Thanks a lot for watching. Till next time, my name's Ash. You've been watching C4 Retech. And I'm signing off for now. You guys have a great day. Bye-bye.